I'd like to share with you my negative vision before I start a religion, how I discovered what a negative vision was. Jonathan and I, we spent two years creating Live a Great Lifestyle. Two years. And before that, during that time, I was, before I was uh, a part of a Live a Great Lifestyle, before Jonathan uh, enrolled me in <laughs> with his charm, I was, as I mentioned before, I was a dating coach. I did property. I did forex marketing, I did forex trading, I did network marketing, I did internet marketing, I did everything underneath the sun in order to create financial freedom. That was my goal. My goal was to create financial freedom. And I was going for every single vehicle under the sun that I could get so that I could create what, they, uh, what, what, the, what the financial world was so excited about called passive income. Creating passive income. That's what I need. I want to create passive income. So I was doing every single thing underneath the sun. I was studying entrepreneurship, business, everything. I was learning everything under the sun and I was just chasing after what we call it negative vision. Why was that a negative vision for me personally? Now, I'm not saying financial freedom is a negative vision for you. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is financial freedom itself was a negative vision for both me and Jonathan. Because it wasn't true to us. The motivation behind it is what matters. The motivation behind the negative, but behind us chasing after the financial freedom came from the fact that we didn't want to be stuck in a job anymore. So we were going after financial freedom in order to avoid pain. You understand that, guys? We were going after financial freedom so that we can avoid being stuck in a job, and we believe in order to get financial freedom, we need to go for all these, all these, all these, all these, all these vehicles. So we, I was just going around, loop, 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 loop. I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. I, I work hard. I work hard in my own way, by the way. And, and I was doing everything. I was juggling a lot of balls, and I was just like, where is this money? Where is this money? Negative vision. I'm not getting the money. I wasn't doing what I love. And the problem, the tricky thing with negative vision is, guys, negative vision is unconscious. So as you can see, limiting belief is conscious. It's in our thoughts. Fear is emotional. That stops us back. Comfort zone is more action-based and mental. Right? It's mentality. You not being able to handle, handle that tension. You don't want to. Rather than I can't. But rather of it's rather than I can't, it's more I don't want to. <laughs> I can't be bothered, I can't be asked. Whereas negative vision, when you are really going for it, you're going for the wrong thing. And that's unconscious. It's unconscious in the back of our mind. We always go, we always, because it's, it's, it's a mechanism of our ego. It's a strategy, how our, our ego created to trick us. It's like, oh, okay, I, I, I need the next, I need a volunteer. I need one volunteer. <laughs> I need another volunteer. And uh, Tio's going to be my, uh, my, my best friend, right? We all have a Tio, by the way. We all have a best friend in our life. And this best friend is called our ego. Okay? So, yeah, big one. <laughs> ego here, right? So, we all have a best friend called the ego. And so, Tio, Tio's my best friend. Your ego's your best friend, by the way, guys. Don't get me wrong. Your ego is your best friend who wants what you want too. However, your ego comes from a place of incompleteness. Meaning, your ego believes you're incomplete. So in order for you to get what you want, you must be complete. That's the hidden meaning, design, and that's the, that's the secret of negative vision. And negative vision is just a strategy. So Tio, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna speak to you in my mind. I'm gonna tell you that I wanna go for something, and then you're gonna encourage me, and say, yes, that's what I want for you as well. Ah. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's role play it. So, Tio, my friend, I want to be a singer. You know, everyone's been telling me to be a singer. You know, I, I really want to be a singer. Let's let's be. You know, I want to go for it. Someone give us. Someone give Tio a mic. Give it to you have a mic, please. Someone give Tio a mic. Your your ego has a very loud voice, by the way. <laughs> yeah. See, I think I'm, no, I'm gonna be a singer. I am going to be the best singer in the world. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the next Michael Jackson. Yeah, but 
in order to be the best singer, in order to be the next Michael Jackson, you need first to learn to dance, to sing, and all of these things as well. Okay. So I, I not, to, not to mention that you need to be master of those things. Okay. So I can't just sing? No. I just want to be a singer? No. Uh, so I have to master dancing as well? Yes, you need to learn you know, to read notes, okay. music, uh, singing, <laughs> rhythm, Okay. Dynamics. Which one should I start first? Uh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all of them? At once. All at once? Yep. Okay. So okay. Can you remind me? What's it? So oh shit. I need to. Uh, I need to learn to read music. I need to dance. I need to go uh, do uh, study music classes. I need to uh, get a voice coach. I need to. Uh, at least two voice coach. At least two voice coach. Right. Because I'm not good enough. Right. Of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think. Tion, you know what? I've got, I've got a better idea. Instead of being a singer, I know what I'm really, really good at. I know actually, I know exactly why I want to be. I know exactly what I want to be. I am, I am, going to be. You ready for this, brother? Always. I'm gonna be a business owner. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Business owner, you need to have a good idea that you know people actually. I've got loads of good ideas, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's good, have enough money. No, that's not point of me being a business owner. <laughs> so, you need, in order to, to, you know, to be a business owner, you need to start, you need to have you know idea that you develop, then you find a market, you, do a, you have a go to market strategy, Stop. someone to sell, you know, someone to buy, general economics, and a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Do I need to learn about economics? Yeah, at least no microeconomics for starters. That's not what I heard though. I've got uh, a lot of entrepreneur friends out there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of entrepreneur friends who say I can just do it. Isn't that true? Well, the, the you key. can Google it if you want. Google it? Yeah, just Google it. Google what? Google is everything. Oh, how to start a business. How to start a business. I'm going to Google how to start a business. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to Google how to start a business. Right. Google responding. <laughs> business mastery. That's the one. Uh, Tony Robbins. Business mastery. Not really. No. <laughs> no. What do I need? I thought that would pass. You need at least to attend, you know, three years for a bachelor's, another one for a month. You say I need a degree. Yes. And then if you are lucky enough, you might do an MBA or something. I need an MBA as well. We will do as well. <laughs> Let's give a round of applause to Theo! Can anyone relate? Can anyone relate to that? We have a big Theo voice talking to at the back of our mind. Unconsciously, by the way. Unconsciously. Because unconsciously we always believe that we need to do something before we can just go for what we want in life. Who wants to be a speaker, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Who would who, love to be a good speaker, a public speaker on stage? Yeah. You want you want one tip? Stand on stage and just freaking speak. <laughs> That's it. You don't need to go to Toastmasters, although it helps. It did help me. <laughs> <laughs> Toastmasters actually gives you a platform to speak, and that is the whole point. Actually, you just go to speak. You don't need to do a three-day training course on public speaking. You don't need to learn all the body language and all of the stage positioning and all of that. No, 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 no. You can learn all that which enhances your speaking skill, which enhances your influence. However, if you just want to overcome the fear of public speaking, just stand up here and speak. That's all. You want to be a speaker? Speak. You want to be a singer? Sing. You want to be an athlete? Join the gym and work hard. You want to be a leader, lead, lead by example. Start doing, start doing what you want to do. Rather than thinking you need to go round and round the circle, before I do this, I need to do this. Before I need to do this, I need to have this first. And actually, stop going for the wrong thing. The businesses out there that are not succeeding in life, 
well, in, in, in the marketplace is because they're always focused on the money rather than the customer. And eventually, they go downhill. True that? It's like chasing after that money. It's as if the money was the only thing. That's not, that's not it. So if you are going for something right now, and you're still stuck on a challenge day, this is just a question I ask you. Are you doing what you started out to do? Are you actually doing what you're meant to be doing? Or are you actually being distracted by a negative vision? Because all negative vision really is, is a distraction. It is a distraction from your truth. 